Hello, I believe it is the right thing to expose these kind of situations. I want to talk about the Russian True Orthodox Church under Bishop Stefan. They're also known as the Tikhonites. A few years ago, Vladimir Moss pointed me to this church and somewhere in my brief history with these people I contacted a priest in Sacramento named Father Vladimir Mordvinkin. Forgive me if I mispronounced his last name. I expressed to him an interest to go to his church. He wanted a copy of my baptismal certificate because I was baptized in the Russian church abroad many years ago. He wanted a copy of that baptismal certificate and I was, un I was unable to get a copy of that because the, the clergyman who had possession of that certificate did not respond to me when I asked for the copy. Father Vladimir wrote me back and told me to go to a parish in the Serbian Patriarchate and the reasons he gave was because they were closer to where I live and they spoke English. Now, I was surprised by this because a priest in the RTOC does not recognize, is not supposed to recognize the Serbian Patriarchate according to the official ecclesiology of the Russian True Orthodox Church. The Serbian Patriarchate is anathematized, ecumenist, and graceless. That's their official ecclesiology. So, it made no sense to me why he referred me to a parish in the Serbian Patriarchate. I emailed him back and asked for an explanation for this and he never gave me an explanation and he never wrote me again. I reported this to Vladimir Moss because he's the person that referred me to the RTOC and he wrote me back and asked me if I was sure it was the Father Vladimir in the RTOC under Bishop Stefan and I said yes and I even gave Vladimir Moss a copy of my entire email correspondence with Father Vladimir of Sacramento and Vladimir Moss never gave an explanation for it either neither did Bishop Stefan I reported this to Bishop Stefan and he never gave an explanation for it either I told uh, Metropolitan Alexei he's in another RTOC church I guess there's two churches that or two RTOC jurisdictions that are not in communion with each other I guess I told him what Father Vladimir Sacramento did, how he referred me to the Serbian Patriarchate, and he said it was wrong for Father Vladimir Sacramento to do that. I want to mention something else here about the RTOC. I wrote down several questions about their church that needed to be answered. I cannot uncritically jump into a church until they prove their orthodoxy to me, and the RTOC did not prove their orthodoxy to me. So I wrote down these questions and sent them to Father Joseph of Portland. He's in the RTOC and he never answered the questions.